When teaching the load phase of the swing, a drill I recommend is the rock the baby drill. In this drill, you're gonna have your batter get in their stance. They're gonna hold the bat with their bottom hand as they normally do, but with their top hand, they're gonna hold the bat at the very end just like that. You're gonna have the hitter make sure she makes an L with both elbows, and you're gonna see that she's gonna start the process of the rocking the baby with her shoulders going up and down. You're also gonna notice that the knob of the bat is going back and forth from the catcher to the pitcher. This is the proper way to do rock the baby and to get our shoulders activated in the load. Some of the things you wanna notice is if you see your hitters going across their body with this load, it shows that their shoulders are not properly working. We don't wanna see that twisting. We really wanna see that rocking the baby momentum. Another thing to look for in your hitters is to see if they use kind of arms where they just swing their arms, they get their arms extended, and there's not a lot of rhythm to their swing. If you notice, her shoulders are really not changing plane. So to properly do it, we wanna activate our lower half and make sure that our shoulders are changing plane in the swing. To do this drill properly, she's gonna rock the baby about three times, and then she's gonna swing away. On the third one, as she's rocking the baby, she'll get her top hand back on the bat the proper way and swing. Let's try it one more time. And you're gonna notice his backhand is holding the bat back here. He's got his bottom hand on just right. You're gonna watch his shoulders very carefully. You're gonna see this good rocking the baby momentum. He's gonna get a couple rocks in and then he's gonna swing away. <laughs> 